raise your hand if you're okay with making two and a half thousand euros in a day. I'm okay with it. If you guys don't want it, I'll have it. If you've been with me for a little while, maybe you haven't, I've got to say, everyone write this down. Cherish the five. Hey, good to see you. First in-house screening, eh? You did the other day. Yeah, good job, dude. How many new patients? Yeah, so I had um, I had 10 first visits and um, only five of them started, but it's pretty good. Dude, how much did you spend? Yeah, not so much, uh, like 250 oh, euros. So that is good. so funny. Uh, Ellie, I love you you brought that up. I'm gonna, uh, this is one of my pet, uh, and I say, this, I say this affectionately, one of my pet peeves in the chiropractic profession. Everybody, if you're joining me early, you're going to get some gold right now. Uh, the early bird all catching the worm. You do not get paid on percentage conversions. Yeah. You get paid on money in the bank conversions. So what everyone does is like, I, I say, to, uh, Elliot, it's so funny. I say to people, how did it go? And they're like, oh, I mean, okay, you know, uh, okay. I only, I only got like five. Now, let me ask you a question. What's your opinion? Uh, I, know, I know it was actually really good. It was really good. Uh, it's just a lot no, of energy. It, because I, I did it on my uh, own without him, but it was really good. Uh, okay, awesome, awesome. But let me, let's go through exactly how much. I, I always do the math and then I'll go, um, Eddie, you spent about 250 quid. What's your PVA? What's your PVA? Watch this. What's your down, PVA? But at, the, at the moment, because I'm a starting practice, I'm like uh, about, I think, uh, 12 or um, something. Cool. Like so let's do, let's do the math. So who's going to do the math with me? So let's say, I'm just, just, just for argument's sake, it's so interesting that the, the concept we had this, there's, there's like, there is, um, first of all, there's a couple of biases. One is new patient bias. We often, we have, we have this adrenaline rush when we generate a new customer as opposed to keeping a customer or investing in keeping a customer. That's one of the mistakes we make as all businessmen, me included, by the way. I get so excited. My team tells me we've got like, you know, 100 new patients, 50 new patients, but, but it's hard to quantify the increased income in retention by sending out newsletters, et cetera. That's one of the biases within business. And the other bias is this like our only um, thing. So if you spend 250 bucks, um, so let's say this, if you're, if you're an investor, you spend $250, uh, how much is the 10, the 10 paid up front? how much? Ellie, 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 don't mute yourself. Don't mute yourself. I need Sorry. you. How much? All of them. How much did they pay? And 19 euros. So now it was already almost prepaid on everything was paid on the front end, which was really good. Okay, awesome. So let's do like, let's be super conservative. So, okay, so there's a, there's a concept the return on investment. So if you've paid off to the advertising spend on the front end, anything you make from here is called infinite returns, which means it didn't cost you anything. You're making infinite return on investment, you know? So let's say five go on to, I think, conservatively. And, and this is not factoring in people referring and things like that. Let's say the five go on to, let's do this, um, 12 times, let me do the math, 12 times, I'm just going to put it at 40 euros equals 480 times five equals... So two and a half grand. Now raise your hand if you're okay with making two and a half thousand euros in a day. I'm okay with it. If you guys don't want it, I'll have it. Send it my way. I'm pretty cool with that. You guys understand, yes? So first of all, give Ellie a big virtual round of applause. First of all, ever. boom, shuck it. Dude, that's freaking awesome. It's this weird thing, you know? And, and, and who's been with me? Uh, let's see, who's been in a little while? Catherine Bell, good to see you. Craig, good to see you. Alex, good to see you. Rachel, Kappa, good to see you. Megan Dillon, Elizabeth, good hack, good to see you. Wendy, good to see you. If you've been with me for a little while, if maybe you haven't, I've got to say, everyone write this down. Cherish the five. Cherish the five, you know? We, we, we've lost our minds a little bit. We only celebrate if we get 30 new patients. Five, do you know how many businesses, like five new patients, I, I will go do a screening every day of the week. I built my business on five, five, you guys, I kid you not. I built my business, five million pounds on doing a whole lot of screenings, getting five a day. While most people won't go out for that. Now I didn't personally do them, I had a team that did them. But I want to be clear, I built my business getting five new patients a day, standing there, oh, not me, but my team, leverage, leverage, getting five new patients a day. Where most people are like, oh, we had a terrible day. We only got five. I'm like, that's fine. I'll take those five. And I'll never forget somebody who, um, somebody who um, 
<laughs> who wanted to open multiple practices came and took me for lunch. And they said, wow, your screening team must be amazing. And I was like, no, they're not. We just show up. We're not amazing. We just show up. Everyone else is, everyone's like, oh, shit day. We only got five. I'm like, that's awesome. Cha-ching, only got five. So there's a little concept. Dan, I don't know if you've covered this yet. And a module one of New Patient Avalanche, we're going to cover this. Um, the concept is this. This is marketing. The person that is willing, this is key, by the way, you will do this in module one, but this is key to understand. The person that is willing and able to spend the most to acquire a customer wins. That's not, um, write the words willing and able. Able being, and this is why it's a cash 22. Is it all about marketing? No, it's not, because you're also gonna have high lifetime values, high PBAs, because someone like John Clark, who I know has got crazy cool PBAs, then he, John is able to spend way more to acquire a customer. You guys understand? If He's got a high lifetime value, a high PVA, which I know he does. So that is, you're just in a great position to do that. And, I, and if you haven't been with me for a little while, I always say this. If you're not absolutely killing my marketing, if you're not beating me by a country mile, there's something wrong. Because let me ask you this. Who can spend more money on marketing? You, uh, you or me? Which one do you think? Point at me if you think it's me. Why do you think? Okay, so, so Andrea, what's so cool? So, so I love that you said it, Andrea. By far and away, the person that can spend the most money on this call is, everyone do this, is you. Because your margins trounce my margins. Remember, I've got to pay associates, like whatever, 40, whichever way you work it out, it's like 50% at the end of the day. But you've got to pay them. Then I've got to pay all my support staff. Then I've got to pay rental for all my buildings. I pay half a million dollars a year in rental alone. Then I've got to pay like et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Then I get a tiny little piece of the pie. So you guys get to, you, you should be spending in proportion to acquire a customer. If I'm prepared to spend 25 quid to, to acquire a customer, you should be prepared to spend 250 quid. Now that's not that I want you to, but if you've got a lifetime value of 24, 25, whatever, some people, one of my Instagram has got a lifetime value or, or PBA of like 45, 50. They can spend to spend, they can afford to spend a thousand euros to acquire a customer. You guys with me so far? So you get to kill me. Like if you're not, if you're not absolutely walking all over me with my marketing, I'm upset. I say this, you can ask my team. If they're not beating our marketing, there's something wrong. If they're not beating my results, there's something wrong. Uh, even the complexity of generating as many new patients as we do, just the phone calls of that is mind-boggling. I could never explain to you guys. Just that's why so few people scale. It's a completely different business. I can't even begin to explain to you how tough it is to scale um, where we may be generating 300 leads. You might be generating 30 to phone 30 doable team work hard, lots of input, lots of energy to phone 300 is freaking hard. You guys with me? Yes. Yeah.